All right, yes, yeah, so I have the ancient banner, Torador and Giselle. Let me be honest, Giselle's kit is nice. If you build this Bloodthirst passive, you can actually give her an attack speed necklace and it, it's the same as if you would give her a crit damage necklace, so you're gaining extra attack speed, but that's honestly about it. Sadly, even though she has two range, she's too squishy, so she can't be used in GVG. And even though she has a lot of damage, technically throughout her kit, it really doesn't come into play. So you're going to end up with a unit that looks nice, has some interesting mechanics, can be built nice, but the numbers just aren't it. So yeah, that's Giselle for you. Maybe they'll buff her in the future like they did to Saga Lugaru. Let's hope so. And now the man himself, Torador. So Torador, let me, let me give a bit of the thoughts in regards to Torador. So Torador is really good for Codex. You're going to be able to use him in Codex. He is a staple in a lot of GVG teams. Now that we have Arrogance and Lust, especially if you have Arrogance and Lust, you should definitely have a look at him. And also he's going to be uh, very useful for Void Progression, Gear A2, wherever you want to use him. But the biggest point about Torador is the fact that he has its defense reduction. So when you use him in, G, uh, in Gate Boss, you're not going to place him necessarily to do damage, but you're just going to rotate him in between Lorid, so he applies the defense down. And he has technically two builds. Number one, full on tank build, which is all right and also works quite well with the fact that he has a revive. And then you have the full damage build, which relies on uh, his ultimate and this atrocious trample right here, as well as the defense reduction. So you can build him both ways. If you build him for damage, he works, but he sadly doesn't do all that great damage, uh, all that great amounts of damage. You can probably kind of compare him to Wrath when it comes to damage output. And when it comes to tanking, he's on the weaker side because he barely, barely has any defense. So out of all the tanks, his base defense at 3200 is pretty darn low. And in general, your Torador just kind of really feels squishy. Furthermore, his revive doesn't give him as long invulnerability as he would be for others. And that are the reasons why. If you ask me, do I summon for Torador? I say, hell no. Here we go.
I'm not sure if 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 I'